Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on ARWIN data modeler tool. In today's tutorial we are going to con continue the part for the naming convention. As we discussed in last session naming convention is important part for the data modeling. For example in this case we have shown one, one example party first name. Here the party is primary component. First is modifier component and the name is class component. So our naming convention should compromise these components. So let's continue the next part. In the last session we have configured the naming standard definition file. Now we are going to check the compliance because our model whole model should should follow the naming convention and in order to check whether it is followed properly or no that in order to check that we have the compliance component. So let's create one party table or party entity. So I'm in the logical data model section. This is the party name. For the for adding primary key and the other attributes, I will use the domains. So if you see, I have the ID as one domain attribute and second is name. If you check the property of the ID and the name, you can see the attribute will be displayed like the owner entity and the ATT domain that is attribute domain. So actual attribute will be ID and name but in the display it will append the party name. So that is the as per the convention. So we added the one primary key and the party name. So what we'll do we will add some standard naming conventions. So let's add so what I did I already added three components first is id name and party id is abbreviated as small id name is nm and party is small case party here the name and id are the class attributes because those are defining the class of the data and the party is a prime entity so these are the components uh, one more thing i will show you because by default you will have like this let me clear this first so these are the configuration you need to make for the compliance thing first attribute 2 need to be removed or the, the dependent attributes so what I'll do I just close this and I will validate first column so in order to validate column go to the tools standard check name naming standard compliance select entity attributes and the domain and start so name check is finished that is no error that means if you go to the physical model you will see id and nm now the next thing is we check the naming conventions conversion but we have not checked the order of the words means whether if I use id party or party id nm party or party nm those are the sequences so if I check the check word order and the position you can see default that is fine you can ignore we can get the domain id has domain it is the case of the domain id has parts that are not in a proper position as specified in the naming standard file and same is applied for the domain nm table party column party id column party nm etc so let's target one by one so what we'll do i will go to the logical data model and if you see there we will fix first domain issue so there is id and nm and we have to apply the sequence for it to apply that go to the tools standards and naming convention and here is there are two models logical and physical go to the logical first and for the domain apply the what kind of domain it will be so if you see the domain it is coming as a id and nm so that means we have to check what is id and domain type id and uh, name domains are the class type so what we have to do we have to go here and configure as a class Similarly, we have to configure for the physical part also. We configure the class because ID and names are class. 
and we'll close it and we'll try to validate again start so now the id and the name issue gone that is party has a part so this is the entity so there is issue with entity we'll fix that also we have issue with attribute party id and attribute party name so let's target now the entity so against tool standards naming convention you can see the entity in the logical and table in the physical so what is the entity our entity is party if you go to the close tree and party is nothing but a, a primary entity so we have to go to here and configure as a prime for the both physical and the logical entities close it and just try to run one more time select the check word order in the position now i'm getting attribute so that means entity and domain issue got resolved we will be targeting on the attribute party id and attribute party name okay so go to the again tools standards naming convention so if you see the name of the attribute it's a party id party name that means party is a prime attribute so configure as a prime and id and name are the classes if you see closely id and nm are classes so you can configure those as a classes here it is a prime and second is class for the physical also on the same line prime and the class this time all the issues should got resolved so let's try to run one more time check and name check finish so that means our data model is perfectly fine now so, so we use the we fix the date domain related issue entity related issue and the attribute related issue so on the same line you have to configure the other tables and make sure those are in the same so in order to che check this uh, those are following the standards we have to use the tool tool option tool standards and check naming standard compliance if you are if you want to add more uh, compliance for example i have used the uh, uh, domains suppose some of the cases where you are not using domain like suppose let's add one more attribute manually that is date uh, our attribute standard is we should have the part uh, first domain and then class or attribute so we are suppose party date of birth assume this is the configuration we are going to make so go here name naming standard at the grocery as the date of birth it should be in capital make it as the date of birth oh uh, okay so we cannot make it as a class because it's not defining its own indigeneity so we can configure as a modify so by that will at actually it will fail these cases also the class cases okay so how can i make the uh, my attribute should work with attribute uh, should work with the date of birth also so for that you can configure attribute then you can configure modifier and then you can configure class let's try out this option modifier and class so you just configure modifier in the class close it and let's run it i'm expecting it should throw some error yes the party id entity is attribute party id is not having all the parts specified in the naming standard so what i have to do so before uh, standardizing anything make sure your all the attributes are following the same convention if it is not then you have to change some of the things for example you can make id and the name both can be acted as a modifier or the class okay and then you can change this third attribute you can uh, make it is nullable 
so now this time whenever you want to use name and ideas class you can use as well as you can use as a attribute modifier also let's try to run now now it is successful it is finished so it is up to us for example this time i have used name and id as a modifier as well as a class but date of birth is just modified but our standard for the attribute is always being going to apply for every every apply, every attribute every uh, attributes in the entity if you are changing any sequence the sequence will be applicable to everyone so this is the compliance uh, you have to check so that your whole model will be following the same standards and same convention suppose i don't want to use party id okay suppose i don't want to use party in my attributes the first thing you have to do so suppose you can do like this for the naming sender and this is for the physical data model so for physical data model uh, you can change the sequence here and the appropriate result will be displayed but the sequence or the what are the physical data model it is shown here it is totally depend on how you have configured your party models and its a property so these are the things about the naming conventions or naming standards which are used in the data modeling I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand the how to follow the naming conventions and how to configure those in the ERWIN data modeler tool. If you have any questions or queries about this tutorial, you can mention the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.